hi uh, this is the second part of our uh, side scroll and tutorial i'll show you a level part here you can see when uh, character go right side uh, then a new level generate and after three seconds it fall down so let's start uh, please subscribe my channel for more tutorial like this now this is our level previously we do it and uh, if we fall down we just fall down there is no end we're falling 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 i must change it personally i don't like it uh, whatever you like you you know i don't know uh, one world setting i uh, kill that i give here minus 100 value uh, you can give your own preference but uh, if we now fall down it's end here it's uh, no there is no more fall down uh, now we must change few name previously i don't uh, give a proper name uh, so i give it a side scrolling game mode and this should be side scroller uh, character uh, now open uh, level blueprint we have few work here here it is now take your reference i just selected the floor and right button and there it is the reference of our floor and set simulate physics we will make it a simulate physics so when the game start our floor go down after five seconds of course now i you should make it uh, movable otherwise it will not fall down save everything now we must create a few folders we must organize it so character folder uh, our level folder and our spawn spawn folder it will spawn the level uh, from blueprint class uh, we will select actor it should be bp spawn uh, collider and we will create another actor blueprint on level we name it bp level one main this is our main uh, and select all and move it to the character folder so this is uh, this will look like organize so on uh, uh, bp level one main uh, open it and we need to add few component here so we will add a static mesh we name it uh, ground uh, we are not seeing anything mm, enable starter content or engine content uh, now uh, sm template map floor this is the map floor and we add uh, this material it looks like more better on location we give 300 on uh, hs is 300 and yhs 1000 uh, now in here we will add a uh, uh, child actor we name it uh, spawn collision or collide whatever you prefer now we add uh, two scene the first scene should be mesh and now we add another scene it should be thriller uh, bp uh, basically we will use this feature later but i'm adding it now now in killer bp we add few uh, child blueprint this should be killer one killer two killer three killer four and killer five uh, now on mesh uh, we add few static mesh i name it to mesh mesh one
now also duplicate it five time one two three four five compile and save uh, we need to give the spawn collider child blueprint uh, and y axis 1250 value it will take it here and we should add a box solution also we name it simulation collider and the value should be 540 on y axis and 250 on z axis both and extended uh, it's uh, is 150 and y is 250 and it will look like this our character will pass through it and done component begin our lab we will cast our third person character and after three seconds we add a delay uh, the the mesh and ground all fall down to make it little bit organized i like it this way uh, set similar physics and similar physics uh, should be true at the target all of this is our target Now add a delay also 1.5 second it will destroy our actor destroy actor our code is done now compile and save now we'll make 10 10 instance bp level 1 using main 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all is done save now if you download our asset you see there is a tree folder and there is a mesh and texture there is a seven texture and three mesh uh, just import it i already import it you can see here this is our three tree mesh uh, this is the texture total seven texture four albedo map and uh, this is the material there is a four material if i open one material mm, here it is there is a four image i add albedo on base color metallic uh, normal normal uh, or metallic doesn't matter base color is the main uh, now open our uh, level blueprint open uh, level one main and one mesh uh, mesh one should be here we want to make few changes on our level we will make detail our level later but i want to make difference every level so you understand there is a new level every time we it is spawning so give the value here now open our uh, level one instance and there it is of it and add the tree here is our one tree compile and save now browse mesh one add three and uh, change the color compile and save now i'll go speedy add the three same six number three just change the material three uh, you rotate it like that now four add a same we have four different texture of each tree now add uh, our uh, tree number seven make it smaller now this texture is fine uh, this is also our seven number tree it should be small and material should be changed uh, this is how we do every model I just speed up you can see every time I change uh, the material one uh, object have four material compile save
कंपल सेव नंबर टेन चेंज द मटेरियल नाउ now we need to go to spawn collide we have to add a viewport and some coding we just only add a box collision i name it character collision and it should be uh, 202 on z-axis uh, 3 on scale and uh, 7 on scale z-axis Uh, non component billion overlap we must uh, we will create a variable uh, the variable i name it random spawn you can name whatever you prefer now add a actor or uh, array reference compile and save class to our uh, third person character which is side is polar character which we created in previous video now add a uh, 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 spawn actor uh, on the location now get uh, the our actor location now we must create a 10 array here we have 10 level now add delete it copy the label name to uh, 3 4 5 6 7 this is how we add all here A 9 Now add a, a spawn collider here, compile and save, I save everything, add a delay here, delay should be 5 seconds, now save everything. And if you play now you can see there is a new level generate each and every time uh, that's it for today wait for next tutorial bye bye everybody